Okay, moving on to Page's disease. Page's disease is another interesting um, disease, otherwise called as osteitis uh, deformance. So that is another Page's disease in the breast. These two Page's diseases are no way related. Okay, they are as far as, as possible. Okay, so don't confuse these two diseases. Page's disease of bone is very different from that which you see in the um, breast. Totally different concepts. Okay. Okay, Page's disease is quite common, which is like 5% of the elderly get this disease, very common in Europe and USA. And usually it's uh, it affects multiple bones. Okay, single bone involvement or full entire skeleton involvement is a little bit rare. Okay, uh, it involves usually uh, multiple bones, pairing of a few bones, of course. Okay, for Page's disease, you have to remember matrix madness. So the matrix goes mad. What happens when the matrix goes mad? First thing that goes mad is osteoclast. Imagine what happens if the osteoclast goes mad. It will madly eat up all the bone. Osteolytic phase is the first phase. First thing, there are three phases in the disease. The first thing that goes mad is osteoclast. Okay, so osteolysis takes over. Okay, a lot of bone will be eaten up by the osteoclast and bone becomes weak. So in response to this osteoclastic activity, what does the body do? What does the rest of the normal bone do? Osteoblast will be triggered in response to, to compensate the loss of bone. So there is an in-between mixed phase where osteoblast will try, will try to compensate for the madness of the osteoclast. And then what happens? Osteoblast also will become mad. So ultimately what happens is, the final stage is an osteosclerotic stage. Okay, osteoblast will always win. Okay, and that will result in gain in bone mass. Total bone mass is uh, very high. So when there is a thick bone, is it very strong? Is it good for the body? No, because it is madness. Osteoclast also were mad. Osteoblast also will were mad. Osteoblast didn't bother about laying the trabeculae of the bone. It is only bothered about winning the osteoclast and it won. But what is the bone which it had formed? It has formed in haphazard. See various directions. This is in one direction. This is in one direction. The trabeculae is not parallel to each other. They are in different directions. It's called as mosaic pattern or haphazard arrangement of the collagen fibers. And these bone collagen fibers are very clearly seen under polarized light because of the angulation. They are very well picked up by the polarized light. So you can see different directions of the um, haphazard arrangement of the collagen uh, fibers in phages disease. Okay, morphology, mosaic pattern. So morphology will depend on the stage also. So initial stages, if you see a bone biopsy and the microscope, you will see a lot of osteoclast. But in the mid phase, if you see, you will see osteoclast and also osteoblast. But if you can make out that this osteoblasts are not forming bone in a lamellated fashion. They are forming bone in a haphazard fashion. Even in the mixed phase, you can note it down. Okay. And yeah, there will be fibrosis in response to this rapid bone uh, destruction and bone formation. There will be uh, healing with scar formation as well. So fibroblasts also will come into uh, place and fibroblasts also will be very haphazard. They will be occupying all the bone marrow spaces and other spaces which are available there. And in the last stage, you will see yeah, thick bone, thick trabeculae, but they will not be in a uniform manner. They won't strengthen each other, lying parallel to each other. They will be very haphazard. So they will still be weaker, more prone for fracture. Okay, so that is what you will see in Page's disease. Pathogenesis, luckily we don't know the pathogenesis, so you don't have, don't have to memorize anything, but there is one uh, etiology which is still questionable. They have uh, retracted paramyxovirus from these patients. Viral particles have been uh, removed, identified in the osteoclast of the patients affected with Page's disease. So there might be some uh, etiology, but it is not completely proved. And there is some uh, hereditary component. Okay, uh, uh, any change in the locus on chromosome 18Q means that the patient, that the individual is more prone for getting Page's disease. So these are some uh, Assumptions, but still not a complete absolute proof has not been identified. Okay, clinical features. I don't have to tell you bone pain. 
Okay, haphazardly bone is being formed and yeah, bone is very thick. So increase in heart size and all the skull bones where the cranial nerves come out, all those bones will be thick as well, resulting in uh, hearing loss and thickened facial bones can result in line-like faces. And yeah, there is increased osteoblastic activity. Ultimately, there is increased osteoblastic activity. So alkaline phosphatase will be elevated. Okay, even though the bone is thick, they are not parallel. They are haphazard. So they are more prone for fractures. And yeah, there will be multiple fractures and mal malformed bones. Um, and there can be deformity, bone deformity. That is one of the complications of Pages disease. And of course, the nerve and uh, cord compression. Okay, pages is affecting the cranial bones and the spinal canal. Complications, yeah, osteoarthritis will be there because of the big bone, like the joint spaces will be reduced. Okay, and there will be a lot of friction in the joint spaces resulting in osteoarthritis. Okay, and there's something called high output heart failure, similar to the high output heart failure in anemia, where the heart is, most of the blood supply is taken up by this bone. It has gone mad. It needs a lot of blood supply to, uh, for osteoclastic activity and osteoblastic activity. So most of the blood is being used up by the skeletal system. So the heart has to work hard, beat faster to compensate, to increase the blood supply to all other organs. So at one point of time, the heart will give up. Okay, resulting in high output cardiac failure. Okay, and yeah, Pages disease, these patients, even though we manage them in the long run, they have a higher risk of developing osteosarcoma than a normal uh, individual. Okay, we will also see this when, you do, when we do bone tumors.